Wait, what are they saying? ¿Qué está diciendo? No, wait, this is, this is not Stop. Spanish. That was me about six or seven years ago before I learned Dominican Spanish. Yo solía hablar así, pronunciando todas las sílabas. Hablando con acento neutro, sin acento. But nowadays, if you hear me speak Spanish, yo hablo con un flow. Yo tengo el flow caribeño. Yo hablo como dominicano, verdadero, de Santo Domingo. A veces del Cibao, si, si me quiero volar de ellos. Pero, why and how did I change my Spanish accent from neutral to Caribbean? And how can you do the same thing if you're wanting to learn a, learn a different dialect or accent? Stay tuned for this video because I'm going to answer those questions for you today. Oye, que lo que mi gente, yo soy Ricky de Bilingue Blogs. And as you saw in that intro, we're talking about why and how I changed from neutral Spanish to a different dialect of Spanish. I was already fluent at the time that I, that I made this decision. So why would I do that in the first place? Porque tú te crees uno de nosotros? No. Porque tú quieres manca con nuestra mami linda? No. Porque nosotros somos el final? Loco, pero déjame hablar. Que lo que tú estás haciendo, loco? El diablo. Anyways, it's a very simple and short answer, honestly. Um, so when I was... 12, my grandpa told us that we were mixed with Puerto Rican. He said Native American, Black, and Puerto Rican. I have the whole story up here. Um, basically, at the end, end of the day, we found out that we are not, you know, 10 years later. And I was feeling kind of lost because I had dove into uh, Puerto Rican Spanish a little bit, a little bit, you know, listen to reggaeton and things of that sort. And I was like, oh man, have I been perpetrating my whole life? Like, you know, thinking that I'm something that I'm not. And am I another one of those people that are like, oh, I'm part Puerto Rican, that I, but I'm not. But for me, that wasn't the case. It was my grandpa's a jokester and he told us that joke. So I dove into that. But once he told me that I wasn't, I was like, well, dang, should I stop speaking Spanish altogether? Should I do something different? And I decided, no, I'm just going to do a different dialect of Spanish. So I started to branch out and see what there was in the world. And I, stu I stumbled across Dominican Spanish through music. I had already heard of bachata. I was, I was a big bachatero, big time bachatero. I loved uh, dancing bachata, listening to bachata. I even make bachata music nowadays. Um, and that's always easy to understand. So I didn't know that Dominican Spanish was so difficult to understand until I came across this video of these rappers having a rap battle a lot of the dominican artists find it really fun to go to the streets and have these rap battles so i was just like you saw in the intro i was watching these videos and i was upset because i'm like i thought that i knew spanish but it turns out that there was a whole other world of Spanish that I had no clue about. I knew uh, uh, Mexican Spanish and, you know, mixed with Spain Spanish and a little bit of Puerto Rican Spanish due to reggaeton, but I hadn't really dived in too much to the Puerto Rican Spanish. So I was in college, college at the time. I told my friends in school and they were like, oh no, don't learn Dominican Spanish. That's bad Spanish. Espérate, ¿qué es lo que tú dijiste? Están hablando plepla de nosotros. Yo no sé por qué esa gente tiene edema. Sí, loco, eso es lo que dijeron. No sé qué es lo que pasa con esa gente, pero no. Güey, pero esa gente tiene que saber que nosotros somos el final. Mira, no me eches la culpa a mí. Yo, yo no dije nada. Yo hablo como tú, loco. ¿Qué es lo que tú estás diciendo? Tú eres de lo mío. Tato, aunque yo no, no te conozco, pero... Anyways, yeah, so they were like, don't learn Dominican Spanish. It's bad Spanish. So... That made me want to learn it even more. It's just a different, they're different variation. I made up my mind and I had, and at that point I decided to learn Dominican Spanish. A lot of you guys have been asking me how to learn Dominican Spanish or Puerto Rican Spanish. And these suggestions that I'm going to give you, the ways that, the way that I learned, it's going to help you learn whatever dialect of Spanish that you want. Because one thing that you will find is that there are lots of books on Spain Spanish. There are lots of books on Mexican Spanish. But if you look for Dominican and Puerto Rican Spanish, you're you're not gonna find a lot of answers. How did, how did I go from hola to que lo que? How did I do that? The first thing that I did was that I kept watching those videos that I, that I told you about, those rap videos. Um, I still had no clue what they were saying, but at that point, I just wanted to get the accent down. So I started to really pay attention. And I didn't just watch these videos with the dumb face, like just sitting there in front of a screen like a zombie, no. I would replay and repeat, replay and repeat over and over again. And that helped me to develop the accent. I didn't really at that point realize the characteristics of the language because I thought I was saying completely different words. <laughs> For example, como tu estás is the same thing as como estás. 
I didn't know that in the beginning, but I repeated it anyways because it was that's what they were saying. Um, so I just listened to a lot of Dominican content. That's that's the thing that you have to realize. The world is your resource when you're learning a language anyways. People want things to be spoon fed to them. So they wait for the books or they wait for the videos to come out. But if you want to do this, you have to go get it because that's what I did. I went I went out and I got it. So that was step number one to for me to acquire the accent. So after listening to those rap battles for a while, I started to go to interviews and listen to artists speak or Alofoque Radio, Alofoque Music. I would listen to him talk to the artists. And um, that's when I realized, oh, wow. So this is not just how they talk when they're rapping. This is how they talk all of the time. And that's when I started to pick up on the characteristics because it wasn't so fast paced. There was no beat behind it. It was just somebody talking like pure conversation. And that's when I realized, okay, they take the S's and the D's out of some of their words. They cut some of their words. They pronounce things differently at the end. For example, que haces tu in neutral Spanish or in Dominican sounds like Pero que tu vas, eh? So you see they, the way that they elongate things. I started to pick up on these characteristics and that all came from listening. The main thing that, they, that you have to do to learn these dialects is to listen to what people are saying and then imitate that. That's really the purest form to do it. That's the best way to do it. There's no shortcut, but it's not really difficult if you just listen and repeat. I got the accent down after that, after doing those two things, you know, listen to the rap battles and listening to those interviews. But after that, I started to listen to more actual music that wasn't bachata. Even though I was a bachatero, they didn't use a lot of Dominican slang in bachata. So I had to go to Dembo. Dembo, and then also just to keep listening to um, Dominican comedians, Dominican uh, humor online. I would just find new phrases. But it wasn't always easy to find those phrases. So let me tell you my formula for finding phrases if I don't know something in Spanish. Well, I, what I used to do. Let's say I heard somebody say, te guayaste, te guayaste. The first thing that I would do would be to search it in Google. Te guayaste, definition in Spanish. If I couldn't find that, then I would type it in a little bit differently. Te guayaste in Dominican Spanish. If I couldn't find that still, then I would switch everything to Spanish. Te guayaste significado en español dominicano. And then I will keep going on. I will keep adding different stuff. So just because you don't find the result the first time doesn't mean that you should give up and then, you know, not keep looking. And that's, that's how I found a lot of phrases. I had to really search for them. But the good thing was that I found a lot of helpful resources to, to teach me phrases and words after that, because there were some sites that were linked to these phrases that taught you more than one phrase. If you're interested in those, you can check out my website, bilingueblogs.com. I have an article there talking about but the best resources for learning Caribbean Spanish. So let's say that I wasn't able to find a resource online. What did I do after that? Well, at that time, I didn't know any Dominicans personally. Um, I think I met my first, I mean, my first Dominican friend when I was like 24 in Chicago. Um, before that, it was just, I had Mexican, Colombian, and Puerto Rican friends. So what I would do, I would go to a language exchange site like HelloTalk. At that time, I went to speaky.com and I would ask somebody, hey, what's this mean? So literally guys, if you need help with something, you have to go out and seek. Unfortunately, some Spanish dialects don't have the cookie cutter uh, formula for, for learning them. You know, it's not like Mexican Spanish and Spain Spanish that's just taught in the schools all the time and in every single book. You have to go out and look for it. But if you look, you will find. You just have to keep being persistent and keep searching. And if, if all of that fails, then just use context clues. Use context clues and that will help you to figure out what it means. That's it for today's video, guys. That's why and how I switched from neutral Spanish to Dominican Spanish. It's pretty much because I wanted to. <laughs> Not because I needed to, but because I wanted to. And how? Well, you have all the steps there. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Dale me gusta, eso me ayuda pila, okay? Also, comment down below with which type of Spanish you speak or which, that you want to speak and how you're gonna go about it. Subscribe to the channel and share this video. You guys, que Dios me lo bendiga, nos fuimos.